But, um, yeah, so this is just like a pregnancy update. Um, and, um, we could talk about the stuff that we talked about in the car the other day because I couldn't really hear it on the video. Oh, uh, what? The levels. Oh, uh, okay. So we're going to tell y'all <clears throat> um, how we found out we was pregnant and stuff like that. You can start. Um, okay, so we did the IUI on, because I don't think we said that. We did the IUI on July 31st. Um, everything went good with IUI. I wasn't there because I had to work. They took off to go. So, um, so our test date, we were supposed to test, take the pregnancy test on August the 14th. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Uh, we were supposed to take the test on August the 14th, but we decided to take the test on August 12th, which was that Monday before the Wednesday we were supposed to test. Uh, we just went to the Dollar Tree and got a dollar test. Just We we really wasn't even thinking it was going to show anything. <clears throat> we were just taking the test just to get it out of there. Um, so, Babe took the test by herself. She went in there in the bathroom. It's my mom. She went and took it by herself, and then she came out, and she was freaking out. Um, there was two lines. One was a faint line, and then there was the dark line. Um, and after that, we just, I don't know, I think we panicked. We started calling everybody. Her mama, my mama, her sister. We just, I don't know, we just panicked. And her mom went and bought us a clear blue test and came and gave it to us, and we took it, and it was definitely positive. So, um... Then we ended up buying another clear blue test, a, blue test a digital, and taking that, and it said pregnant. Then we ended up buying more Dollar Tree tests and taking those. Well, she took one of those every day last week yeah. to see the line get, dark and get dark. darker and darker, and it definitely got darker. And then this past Saturday, we actually bought another test, like a first response, mm -hmm. and took another one just to make sure. Um, but... The Monday that you found out you was pregnant from the home test, mm -hmm. called the doctor's office. Because we live so far away from the doctor's office, they um, told us she could go have her blood drawn at our local hospital. So we went there, she had her first beta done. Um, we got the results, what, two days later? Yeah. Uh, her first beta was 100, which was good. 100.77. Yeah, which was good. Her and progesterone was, was? A 24 point. Another 24. Yeah. Something. Yeah. So her progesterone and her first beta was good. So two days later, which was last Thursday, she had her second beta. And her numbers rose from 100.77 to 434. Point Four, 90. Yeah, 0.90. Um, so that was good. Um, so our daughter's office required us to have three beta tests. Don't know why, but they did. Um, so this past Monday, which was the 19th, she had her third beta, and her levels rose from 433 to 1,780, 0. 0.90, 99. 0. 0.99. So, that was good. Um, uh, then what happened after that? That was this week. <laughs> we made a doctor's appointment to... Um see if anything was wrong, if everything was going right, because I was having severe cramps. Um, I was having stomach pains, like regular stomach aches, felt like. And um, so we didn't want to risk it. We didn't want to take a chance because on my mother's side, first born, like, well, not born, but first time pregnancies 
always end up as miscarriages or stillbirth or something like that. So we want to make sure that everything <clears throat> was okay on our end and that we was always supposed to do. As far as, you know, me, I was still taking my prenatals every day um, and, you know, just taking it easy. So mm -hmm. we did that and we set it for yesterday, which was Wednesday. And we went to the appointment. We didn't really did nothing. The only thing they did was give me a pregnancy test, did some blood work to check me for any kind of sexual transmitted diseases or anything like that. And then they told us our due date, which is April the 22nd, 2020. And they told me I was five weeks. Five weeks. But I am five weeks and two days exact. Or five weeks and one day. Five weeks and one day now. Five weeks and one five weeks and one day exact today. She um, turns a new week every, every Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. So that week Sorry. Sorry y'all. <laughs> but um we had a um a call just now. So this video will be all over the place, but whatever. Y'all get it. Y'all yeah. just So what what I was saying? Um uh, that the appointment went good. Yeah. And you're five weeks in one day. Yeah. And the, when the baby was due, I told mm -hmm. him to do that. And um, we go back on the on September 4th. Mm -hmm. And we have an ultrasound that day. Which we are very excited. I mean, and, a, and another thing, y'all, we, we scared because we heard the, we heard the heartbeats. We're not going to tell y'all how. Like, it's none of your it's business. Okay, but we heard the heartbeats. Sorry, that's okay. We heard the heartbeats and oh, you said beats, like it's heart, more than one. Because it was, yeah, y'all. We heard heartbeats, y'all. Weird. It was one heartbeat on each side, and both was beating at a different pace and sounded different. So we don't know if there's one baby or, or two. two. So y'all, we really don't know, and we won't find out until September the fourth. Yeah, y'all. And I am terrified because. <laughs> I mean, like, God bless us with two. That's what he's seen fit. But God knows our heart and knows that we just only want one right now. Just yeah, to start I mean, off with. But yeah. if it happens, it, it happens. It that's happens. just what happened. That's just what he blessed us with. And like I say, you know, she's going to be doing hers, you know, after we have this one. So we stuck with three kids. That's just what God wanted for us. That just mm, what, you know, what was his twins. plan. But, um, yeah, so we are kind of nervous about that appointment yeah. and then after the ultrasound I have an examination you know like pap smear all mm -hmm. that stuff like that um yeah anything you need to say I'm scared that we have twins and everybody keeps saying that it's two babies they were even saying that before we even listened to the heartbeat they were even saying, oh, y'all got two babies. Y'all got two. They just kept saying, y'all got yeah. two babies. Y'all got two babies. They put <laughs> twins on us. So we're going to find out on the 4th if it's one or two babies. Um, whatever it is, it's just what life is throwing at us right now. And we're going to take it and we're going to roll with it. All right. We're going to roll with the punches. Um, and you can tell them how you've been feeling and stuff. Yeah, let me give y'all an update. Oh, y'all, this is just all over the place. But pregnancy update. Um, I am five weeks and one day as of today. I just said it like two different times. That's okay. Um, well, my first four weeks, I had severe cramps. Um, no nausea. Like, I mean, I had nausea, but it wasn't <laughs> every day. It was like once out the week within those four weeks. Um, but now since I've hit five weeks, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot sleep. Like, I get woken up out my sleep, like, 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning, sick. Like, last night, I was so sick. I did not get any sleep last night. I was up and down, up and down, up and down, from the room to the bathroom, room to the bathroom. Because the type of sickness that I have, it, I mean, I feel like I have to puke, but then I feel like I have to do number two as well. But I always end up doing number two and not puke. So, it's like, it's a bad feeling from both ends. So, I don't know if they call that morning sickness, some kind of sickness. diarrhea, constipated. I don't know, but it's terrible, y'all. And it seems like I get it during the time I'm asleep. I don't get it. I get it while I'm up, but it comes and it, and it goes. It don't stick. But when I sleep and I wake up, 
it I mean it just stick like it, it stayed up for a long time then when I use the bathroom like if I if I do number two and don't throw up it'll go away but then I go back and lay down and then here it comes again and it wake me up again and that's like an hour after I just come from the bathroom mm -hmm. so um, we went to the doctor and we told the doctor about that yesterday and he said that that was normal and um, my you know TMI my stool is black and he said that's normal too from you know the iron in the prenatals that I'm taking every day so um yeah um my breasts not real they not sore but I get like a sharp pain on the sides like a stabbing pain mm -hmm. that comes and goes it don't stay all the time um, I've been having pains like in my upper shoulder in the back mm -hmm. I've been having pains there and she usually rubbed me down with muscle cream that I have but you can't use, can't that, use that now so I'm stuck taking Tylenol which don't help at all um, the headaches I don't have anymore I haven't had a headache in a, about two weeks in about, yeah about two weeks the first four weeks I had headaches every day mm -hmm. but it wasn't bad every day but every other day it gets stronger and stronger and stronger mm -hmm. then it turns into like a real bad migraine mm -hmm. so I haven't been having them yeah. coming up to my, my fifth week I haven't been having them thank God for that um, cause I, I caught myself popping these Tylenols like crazy and I'm really not supposed to like I can take Tylenol but I'm not supposed to take them like how I was so I back off from that so thank god I'm not having a headache like I was it's just a stomach ache now yeah and she feels like she's gonna puke or do number two yeah. and it's never puke it's always number two <laughs> but it's that feeling she get in her like a stomach ache it's like up here isn't it yeah like up, up there or, or either like down, down below up like below. like the below part above my private area yeah <clears throat> that's what I used to have on my cramps at, but I have cramps here and there, but not like how I was the first four weeks. They was really bad. Like Yeah, but that I couldn't sit on. We Googled a lot <laughs> and we found out that that is because the placenta and everything is forming and attaching and all that. So that could be a lot of her pain, but the doctor didn't seem too concerned about us telling that she was having those pains. I guess as long as you're not bleeding like a lot or something like that yeah. then everything is normal right and i haven't had any spotting or any bleeding like that the doctor was shocked and he was like oh okay um the only time i had seen some blood was like a little dot and that was like six days after our iui yeah, six days after our iui and it was like tmi it was with like it was brownish pinkish and it was like a little dot but it was mostly like discharge type stuff so um that was implantation we believe yeah had to be because i had a serious fever that day yeah she was really hot we got fever and stuff so yeah so that's the only time i seen blood like i haven't been spotting any um i discharge a lot a lot because i mean i'm pregnant and they're saying that while you're pregnant throughout the week you're going to be discharging a lot of stuff because your body is getting prepared to carry a child so mm -hmm. Um, so TMI, if you know you're trying to get pregnant or whatever, get some panty liners. <laughs> you, yeah, you're gonna need them, you are going to need them. Yeah, they you, you really gonna need them. Like, I mean, you could take as many showers as you want to. Um, you're gonna discharge, like, and it's gonna be a lot. Yeah, like you pee on yourself. And then it's gonna be like a, a lot of TMI, a lot of mucus and stuff like that, like the first four weeks. But ever since I hit five weeks, I haven't seen any of the mucus, just discharge. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Any updates on your end? Um, I knew she was pregnant because every time I got around her, I started feeling nauseous. Okay. Uh, before, sorry, sorry y'all. Sorry again. Had another phone call. Then had to check my macaroni and cheese. Okay. Um, but I knew baby was pregnant because. She every time I got around her when we get off work, I, I would get parched. Yeah. <laughs> I would get very nauseous when I got around her. Um, and it's like when we laid in the bed together, if I went to get close to her, I would get really nauseous. And when I would back away from her, it would go away. It was weird. Um, I also knew she was pregnant because we would be at work and babe will sleep in the middle of the day during the week. In the house, sleep. <laughs> she could not stay awake. Mm -hmm. 
And then she, I was with my mom one day out doing some errands, and she texted me and said she wanted a pack of Snickers, a pack of Twix, a pack of Reese's, some sour creamy cheddar ruffles, and chocolate milk. She don't really eat chocolate that much. And I knew right then and there something was wrong, but I still had that little doubt in the back of my mind. But everything worked out, and everything looks good so far. Yeah. Uh, we're taking it one day at a time, um, just rolling with it. Um, and that's basically it. Just and, uh, and another thing, y'all, fatigue. Like oh, she was saying, so it's so it was so bad <laughs> the first four weeks i couldn't even stay awake at work it's bad. i could not stay awake like i was like i was so tired like and y'all know i if you watch my youtube channel well, old videos we don't have up anymore i took them down but i love we, we love to get our nails and feet done y'all i was too tired to even get my nails and feet done i have not had my nails and feet done in a month yeah which we are going. Yeah. But now she don't want to do anything but lay in lay the bed. <laughs> but now she has a little bit of energy, but not yeah. for long though. It's like we can go and do things, but after like a couple of hours, she get so drained and tired, and we have to come home. She have to lay down. Yeah. But um, this bed right here is my best friend. It's her best friend right now. But I'm um I'm starting to pick up on my energy, so I need to get my nails and feet done, y'all. So I, I I don't have a choice. Yeah. Cause um, these things are horrible. So we've taken a bunch of pregnancy tests, you know, yeah, just to make sure. <laughs> and we want to give y'all some advice who's out there trying couples. Hey, it's not even only lesbian couples, heterosexual couples, whatever. Everybody, couples, everybody, y'all, do not give up. Keep going. Keep going. Have patience. Have cons be consistent, and like just. Just go hard. Like, go if you want it, go for it. Don't give up. Don't let the negatives get you down. Don't let, you know, the, don't let nothing stop you or your partner. Like, I know sometimes, you know, it'll get frustrating. Y'all look at each other and, and or, you know, yeah. argue and be like, you know, I'm done and all this other stuff. It, it gets like that. Yeah. Because we've been through it. Yeah. But, Y'all will get to that rainbow at the end. Like, we are living witnesses. We've been dealing with this situation for a while. Like, we only did two IUIs. We got pregnant on our second one. But we were trying to get pregnant home as well. Yeah. So, we done been through trying to get pregnant home to, like, three different doctors when we was living in North Carolina. Came back home. Did it the first time. Didn't work. Did it the second time. It did work. And then it's a problem for me. But I am still blessed because I feel like, you know, why it worked when my sister passed. Yeah. But I, but at the end of the day, I know God don't make no mistakes, and she gonna be here in spirit. Yes. But please, y'all, just keep God first and do not give up. You got any advice? No, you just hit it. Like you really gotta keep going, yeah, and you gotta be, gotta be strong with your partner. You gotta be each other's backbone. Like you can't like the person who's actually going through the process, getting all this stuff done, is gonna carry the child. Your partner needs to be the strong one to be able to hold you up when that negative do come down. I mean, right. we feel it too. The ones on the other side that are not carrying the child, we just as disappointed and hurt as the one that is. But, yeah. you know, you, you just got to hold each other up. And like she said, keep God first and just keep the faith and keep pushing on because it will work. Yeah, it and, will. And this this second try, yeah, it worked on the second try for us as the IUI process. But it wasn't easy, y'all. No. We did not just up and got into the process. We had to lose weight. Yep. We had to get my cycles back on track. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. We had to get everything. My body was totally out of whack, y'all. Like, mm -hmm. I was stressed because, because of my sister. Then I had other stuff going mm -hmm. on. So my body was just not cooperating with nothing. This second journey, we started in February, y'all. And we what actually... We actually didn't do our IUI until January. I mean, July. So February, March, April, May, June, July. So five, it took us five months to get to this point. And it, it was hard. It was a long road and it was hard, but we stuck it out and we got through it because we were hoping and praying that in the end, we would get the result that we wanted and we did. So you guys stick together, never give up. I pray nothing but baby dust on everybody who's trying to conceive who's going through infertility 
whether it be a same-sex couple or a heterosexual couple, anybody out there that is struggling to have a baby, I sprinkle lots of baby dust and wish all of the baby dust on you that everyone gets pregnant and gets blessed with their dream of having a child or children or multiples or whatever. I just pray that everybody gets everybody gets pregnant and everything. Sorry, y'all. I pray that cooking mac and cheese. Yeah. I pray that everything goes good for everyone. You know, that everybody gets to this point because it was not easy. It was and going to a fertility specialist is not easy and we know it. And it's not chill. And it's not cheap. Like thinking about having to lose from twenty pounds went up to eighty pounds. No, went up to thirty pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about eighty. Went up to thirty pounds. And then when we went the first time, we lost what, fourteen, fifteen pounds? Mm -hmm. Wasn't enough, y'all. She we wanted that thirty in. pounds off. So we had to wait another couple months. Lost some more weight, mm -hmm. went back, it was good enough to start the process. So, so everything is a process, y'all. This whole situation is a process. You mm -hmm. gotta have the patience to do it. We are so super, super excited to share our journey with you guys. And thankful. And thankful that we can still do that. God. And we're just keeping God first in everything that we do with this baby. Well, mm -hmm. everything we do in life. Yeah. Just keeping God first. But um you got yeah. We'll continue to watch our journey. Um, our journey is going to be interesting from here on out because, you know, we have a little bundle of joy coming in 2020. Yeah. So, should I do the book? Mm, not yet. No. Not yet. Because, I mean, you can, it's, it's swollen at the, my stomach is swollen at, at the bottom, but it's not. But it's really, not like nothing yeah. up here. So, so, I think when I start showing, then I start doing like books. Yeah. Um, but, we're very excited, y'all. We might not seem like it right now, but we're tired. Because baby didn't sleep last night. Every time she got up, she woke me up. So, And we've been ripping and running all day doing different things because we have to go back to work this weekend. So we we are really excited. We we just lay in the bed at night, and sometimes I say, we're having a baby. Like, it just comes yeah, out of nowhere. So. And then um, <laughs> we um getting all this equipment together because our videos will be in better format mm -hmm. um, better quality and stuff like that because we want this journey and we're taking it seriously so yeah this stay tuned y'all we got a lot coming up a mm -hmm. lot more updates um we might not vlog every day y'all might not get a video every day you might not get a video every week but babe's gonna start doing her little bump dates i guess when you get a little further she gonna start doing her bump date, but this was just a sit down with y'all because we didn't explain to y'all how we how we got pregnant yeah. and how it happened. So we were just gonna put that out there for y'all. Uh, we have a lot of people that probably wanted to know what happened because we just did our little announcement video yeah. and left y'all like that. So um, we'll just keep y'all posted. Yeah. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all like comment and subscribe tell your friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to tell that friend to follow us <laughs> and, <subscribe laughs> to <our channel. laughs> and um yeah make sure y'all hit that bell for more notifications and be informed when we post videos, videos. guys so um yeah help us get these subscribers up we're trying to get to 100 and then and if you view, view our video like it and comment right don't just view it and then don't like it or talk to us. Just, you know, yeah. like it and talk to us. We're very friendly. We'll talk back. Mainly it's babe talking. Because she has our account hooked to her phone. So mainly it'll be her. But she lets me know who says something. And I go back and look. And so. If y'all yeah. want to talk to us, just talk to us. So, yeah. We won't bite. We're friendly. Right. So. so we will see you guys. In the next. <sighs> we will see you guys. In, in the, the next. Video. video.